First question is, at time t is equals to t1, an object's velocity is given by the vector v1 shown below. v1 ki direction given hai, which is a straight line. A short time later, at t is equals to t2, the object's velocity is the vector v2. v2 ki bhi hamaay paas direction given hai, which is as shown in the figure. If v1 and v2 have the same magnitude, which one of the following vectors best illustrates the object's average acceleration between t is equals to t1 and t is equals to t2 humne inka acceleration find out karna hai kaise find out karenge with the help of the formula vf minus vi over t hum iski arrow ki hum direction kaise find out karenge by using head to tail method jisse hum vector ko subtract kar denge to hamare paas option c right answer aa jayega Next question is the direction of a vector in space is specified by for this question I've provided you the diagram below which shows that there are three angles specified in a vector so option C is going to be our right answer Next is in an effort to tighten a bolt we're talking about a bolt over here a force f is applied as shown in the figure below jaisa ki aap figure mein dekh sakte hain ek force apply ki gayi hai bolt pe if the distance from the end of the wrench to the center of the bolt is 20 cm radius ya distance given hai which is 20 cm and force f is equals to 20 newton force p provided hai that is 20 newton now What is the magnitude of the torque produced by F? हमने magnitude of torque find out करना है कैसे find out करेंगे Distance भी given है force भी given है Formula होता है T is equals to R F sin theta. R is 20 सेंटीमीटर We are going to change it into meters. That will become 0.2. Force given है 20 sin theta. Theta हमारे पास जैसा कि आप डायग्राम में देख रहे हैं 90 डिग्री गिवन है तो जब हम इनको कैलकुलेट करेंगे हमारे पास फुल एंड फाइनल आंसर फोर न्यूटन मीटर आएगा सो ऑप्शन डी इज गोइंग टू बी आवर राइट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट अबाउट फोर्स एंड वेलोसिटी कौन सी स्टेटमेंट करेक्ट है दैट इज ऑप्शन बी विच सेज दैट फोर्स एंड वेलोसिटी बोथ आर वैक्टर्स वैक्टर्स आपको पता है वो बोथ दैट इज मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन शो करते हैं फोर्स एंड वेलोसिटी चू के ये मैग्नीट्यूड और डायरेक्शन अपने कम्प्लीट एक्सप्लेनेशन के लिए शो करते हैं इस लिए इनको वैक्टर भी कहते हैं तो करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट हमारे पास यही है दैर इज फोर्स एंड वेलासिटी बोथ आर वैक्टर्स ऑप्शन बी नेक्स्ट इज अ नल वैक्टर हैज ये हमारे पास एम सी क्यू नल वैक्टर की डेफिनेशन से लिया गया है एंड इट्स आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी सीरो मैग्नीट्यूड एंड नो स्पेसिफिक डायरेक्शन ऑप्शन डी Next question is maximum number of components of a vector may be so you have to remember this is a general question whose answer is infinite because maximum number of components is always equals to infinity in a vector so option d is our right answer Next question is the magnitude of the resultant of two vectors of magnitudes 3 units and 4 units is 5 units 3 basically my pass first vector hai 4 hamare pass second vector hai aur 5 hamare pass resultant vector hai what is the angle between the two vectors so my pass formula hota hai r is equals to root a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta the theta as you're seeing in the formula we have to find that That is actually the angle. So हम कैसे find out करेंगे सीधा आप इसकी calculations करेंगे square root को हम cancel out कर लेंगे square लेके फिर हमारे पास आएगा जीरो इज इक्वल्स टू कॉस थीटा कॉज इन वर्स जीरो करके हमारे पास थीटा की वैल्यू आ जाएगी दैट विल बी नाइन्टी डिग्री और पाई बाई टू सो ऑप्शन बी इज गोइंग टू बी आवर राइट आंसर Next question is given p is equals to a plus b and q is equals to a minus b. If the magnitudes of vectors p and q are equal, what is the angle between the two vectors a and b? Given here, my pass p is equals to a plus b and q is equals to a minus b. Or कहते हैं कि इनका magnitude equal है. इसके मुताबिक हम लोग अपने magnitude का formula derive करेंगे. That will be a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta under the root this is for p or q ke liye kya hoga root a square plus b square minus 2ab cos theta there is the difference of signs between both of them डायग्राम के मुताबिक अगर हमने एंगल फाइंड आउट करना है बिटवीन टू वेक्टर्स ए एंड बी तो वो क्या आएगा 45 डिग्री हमारे पास फर्स्ट राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल क्या है 
45 डिग्री हमारे पास सेकेंड राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल का तो जब हम इन दोनों को ऐड करेंगे तो हमारे पास 90 डिग्री आएगा वेन वी आर गोइंग टू गेट थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू नाइन्टी डिग्री वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई इन द मैग्नीट्यूड फार्मूला दैट इज फॉर पी एंड क्यू तो P हमारे पास क्या आएगा रूट ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर वी आर गोइंग टू कंसीडर दिस एज इक्वेशन वन Q में जब थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू नाइन्टी डिग्री डालेंगे वी विल गेट रूट ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर वी विल कंसीडर दैम एज इक्वेशन टू इक्वेशन वन को हम इक्वेशन टू के इक्वल रखेंगे तो इससे प्रूफ हो जाएगा कि वेन थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू नाइन्टी डिग्री बिटवीन ए एंड बी P is equals to Q. Both the vectors are going to be equal. So option C, pi by 2, which is also known as 90 degree, is going to be our right answer. Next question is: If a plus b square is equals to a square plus b square, then this is a general question, and you have to remember whenever two vectors are equal, the angle between them is always equals to 90 degrees. So option B, which says that the angle between A and B must be 90 degrees, is our right answer. Next question is: If A minus B is equals to A plus B, and neither A nor B vanish, then The figure below clearly shows that A is perpendicular to B, so option D is going to be our right answer. Next question is: Let V is equals to two meter plus six meter minus three meter. The magnitude of V is. First of all, we are going to consider two meter as V x, six meter as V y, and minus three meter as V c. So according to the magnitude formula, that is V is equals to root V x square plus V y square plus V z square, we are going to put all the values in it, and then finally our answer is going to be seven meter option C. Next question is vectors A and B each have magnitude L when drawn with their tails at the same point the angle between them is 30 degrees the value of A dot B is in this we simply have to calculate the dot product of A and B whose formula is AB cos theta ab AB ke my bas values kya hai is given in the statement which is L unhone bataya ki vectors A and B both have मैग्नीट्यूड एल दोनों की सेम है तो एल स्क्वायर बन जाएगा थीटा माई पास गिवन है थर्टी डिग्री सॉल्व करेंगे तो माई पास फुल एंड फाइनल आंसर ऑप्शन बी रूट थ्री बाई टू एल स्क्वायर आंसर आएगा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वेक्टर सी इज द सम ऑफ टू वेक्टर्स ए एंड बी एंड वेक्टर डी इज द क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वेक्टर्स ए एंड बी वट इज द एंगल बिटवीन वैक्टर सी एंड डी First of all let us go to the first part of the statement which says that vector C is the sum of two vectors A and B iska kya matlab hua ki jo vector C hai wo same plane mein lie kar raha hai as for A and B theek hai jo statement ka second part hai it says that vector D is the cross product of vectors A and B agar vector D cross product hai A and B ka to of course vector D is going to be perpendicular to A and B और अगर वेक्टर डी परपेंडिकुलर है ए एंड बी के तो वो सी के भी परपेंडिकुलर होगा एस सी इज लाइंग इन द सेम प्लेन एस ए एंड बी देयर फॉर द एंगल बिटवीन द टू वेक्टर सी एंड डी इज गोइंग टू बी पाई बाई टू और नाइन्टी डिग्रीज ऑप्शन सी इज गोइंग टू बी आवर राइट आंसर Next question is the value of i dot j into k is. This is a general question, and you have to remember that its value is always equals to positive one. So option C is going to be our right answer. Next question is resultant of which of the following may be equal to zero. So you have to remember in the form of a triangle, three forces of equal magnitude as shown on option C. That is. 10 newton 10 newton and 10 newton so the resultant of three forces of equal magnitude is always going to be zero so option c is going to be our right answer next question is if l is equals to r cross p then r dot l is in the first equation they said that l is equals to r cross p due to this equation it clearly shows that the theta is 90 degree between r and l vectors so when we are going to find the dot product of the two vectors r and l its formula is r l cos theta in the place of theta we are going to put 90 degree so our answer is going to be 0 as cos 90 is equals to 0 so option b 0 is going to be our right answer 
Next question is, which one is a unit vector? Option D is correct, which says that both B and C are correct. What B says 1 over root 3i plus 1 over root 3j plus 1 over root 3k. When we're going to see option C, it's also the same. Root 3 over 3 can also be written as 1 over root 3. So when we are going to find the magnitude of both of these, it's going to be same, that is 1. As 1 is a unit vector, so option D is going to be the correct answer which says that both B and C are correct. Next question is, a man walks from A to C, C to D, and D to B as shown in the figure. The magnitude of displacement of man is 10 meter. The total distance traveled by the man is, we have to find out the total distance. From A to C, the distance is 1 meter as shown in the figure. From C to D, the distance of the man is 10 meter, which is from the statement. From D to B, the distance is 1 meter as shown in the figure. How to find the displacement? The formula is going to be S is equals to AC, CD, and DB. We're just going to add them. So our full and final answer is going to be 12 meter, which is option B. Next question is, if i and j are unit vectors, in these words, they have given you the value of i and j, which is 1. Unit vector means 1, along x-axis and y-axis, respectively. The magnitude of vectors i plus j will be, we have to find the magnitude, the formula for magnitude will be root ax squared plus ay squared. We're going to suppose it as i squared plus j squared as given in the statement, and as they both are the unit vectors, we are going to put their value as 1, 1 plus 1, 2, root 2 is going to be our right answer which is option B. Next question is, an airplane flies 400 meter due north and then flies 300 meter south and then flies 1200 meter upwards. The net displacement is, we have to find the net displacement. Simply, we are going to apply the formula of the displacement. The calculations will be 400 J of the north side minus 300j of the south side plus 1200k which is going to be for the upward direction so after the calculations we are going to get 100j plus 1200k then we are going to find out the magnitude of the displacement which is going to be 100 square plus 1200 square under the root so our full and final answer is going to be 1200 meter that is option b